Okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. So, hari ni kita nak present tentang um, this one, how to find geo parameter using least square method. So, actually, uh, my tab is not functioning well. So, we doesn't have like a good font here. Tak cantik dia punya font tu. Tak apa. So, yang penting tahu how to find geo parameter using least square method single the square method okay so for this one we will go to the uh, paper from this uh, p golden and f ozel so dia bagi tahu caranya first sekali kita pergi pada formula asal okay for this formula kita kena pakai matrices okay we have to do but we have to use matrix so first kita kena determine dulu apa benda step ni first this is the fed uh, oscillator strength. This is a, just a constant. This one. Okay, so I put this as um, as a constant. I think this is a constant. Uh, this is uh sorry, not here. This one. This one is a constant. This one. Uh, wait. Take pi square mc here, uh, it's called sigma here, 3h27 plus 1 and x. So this is a sigma, uh, we put it as x, the one that we want to find. So sigma ni benda kita nak cari, so kita define as x. And this one is, um, kita kata dia punya matrix dia, matrix, reduce matrix. This matrix. We call it reduce matrix. Put as a. This matrix and then we get this as b. The the oscillator strength. So this is b. This is constant. This is x. This is reduced to matrix a. So kasi na the define what is a. What is f, uh, m? What is c? M is the mass of uh, electron. C is the speed of light. Speed of light must be in centimeter, and H is the Planck constant, and uh, what's it called here? This X here is the, the field correction factor. So, macam mana kita nak dapatkan jual effect parameter ni? This jual effect parameter, how can we find it? So, it is actually by using a square, lead, uh, sorry, um, this square fit method, which kita regard FXP, okay, ni FXP, is uh, uh, sorry exper experimental oscillator strength yang ni adalah dia punya oscillator strength yang kita dapat and then A ni adalah yang all parameter apart from the of effect parameter so this is the of effect parameter so kita lihat macam ni we will do like this a bit they can add a Okay. Uh, C equal to take pi square m c v divided by um three h two j plus one and this is a fit factor. So this one we get as a constant. So we not let this one constant equal to uh, b example and then we have uh, of a parameter and also the reduce matrix okay so we regard this as a constant uh, b example or c lah we regard as c to put much better we put c Di mana kau? Okay, here C. Okay, so C ni kita letak di FXP. So dia akan jadi FXP equal to C equal to sigma and this is the reduce element. Okay, this is we regard convert to matrix. 
to matrix how to convert to matrix so we regard this as a b this is as a x this one as a so it will be a x equal to b system of matrix okay so example uh, kita we note okay this one kena ingat eh so b yang ni fsp over c x is the uh, what's it called here the sigma and a is the uh Lewis matrix element so untuk dapatkan x we need to have the this value kena ada need a and b value so oscillator strength ni uh, fxp ni uh, actually we had done the uh, video before how to calculate the fxp so you can go to the uh, previous video on the fsp C ni constant, just set it constant and then you can find the value and then for the A, okay A this is from the kernel kernel paper so kernel paper ni, okay saya dah share okay this is the paper special intensity of the boleh cari, so for my case it is ER3 plus so we have the value of u for, okay this one is the metric element for the ERT plus each uh, transition they have their own u2 square u4 square and u6 square so example yang ni 13 0.195 so pick yang mana uh, observe in your um, spectra so you just take number here the value okay so, macam mana kita nak cari X? How to find X? Okay, how to find X? Here. Yeah. Okay, we, we use the uh, least square fitting uh, method. Which, okay, to find X, first it is A, X equal to B. Okay, we had defined before, right? So, we must times by A, T. So, it will be A, T, a x equal to a t b okay so this is to find the sigma find sigma or we call x so this one go the other side so if we want to find this one to other side it must be times by a t a negative one so then we can get x equal to a t a negative 1 a t b okay so first a ni is the reduce uh, this is the u this is the sigma p this is the f exponent divided by c yang constant constant okay so macam mana kita nak compute benda ni so boleh pergi kepada saya punya uh, uh, template so ni transition kita ok before that actually for constant kena take note ni eh 2j plus 1 different uh, material have different j plus 1 kalau for ia 3 plus will be 16 lah 2j plus 1 dia ok so this yellow one you must to fill in center peak you must know based on your uh, optical absorption data if it's in this phone you know from your optical absorption data For, uh, exponent uh, sorry exponent experimental oscillator strength we had done the previous video on it so you can just refer boleh tengok yang ni refer kepada karnal ok refer to karnal ok so this one refer to karnal and then okay so you must to fill in this I'm putting this yellow thing okay so this fxp we regard as b which actually this is a uh, f, expo, uh, f experiment oscillator strength for the experimental divided by total constant kita dah calculate total constant tadi 
oscillator strength tu divided by total constant kita define as B A adalah dia punya reduced matrix element for ER3 plus ni berdasarkan peak yang saya dapat lah so nanti boleh refer dalam page kernel ok first kita tengok kita nak jadikan dia ATA negative uh, uh, inverse so we put A here and then we put transpose ok transpose and then you can get the AT ok this AT and then ATA why because we want to find this ATA here so it will be AT uh, mul uh, matrix multiplication by A so it is the MMULT is the matrix multiplication so it is AT times by A make sure tak terbalik jangan terbalik kalau terbalik nilai lain so must, must be AT times by A okay and then we find the mean inverse the matrix inverse AT and negative 1 sebab kita nak dapatkan nilai ini this one sorry this one ok so next adalah ATB how can we find the ATB so ATB senang je kita dah ada AT punya transpose punya data AT yes times um, uh, matrix multiply by B then you can find the ATB ok so this one is actually ATB so this expression just multiply with this expression that you can get the X it is the sigma oscillator strength so you can see this is MMULT matrix multiplication AT A inverse inverse times by ATB then you can get the sigma so this is the value of the sigma ok ok now macam mana kita nak cari F calculate ok for F calculation senang je very easy for F calculation uh, calculated oscillator strength calculated oscillator strength ok calculated oscillator strength just follow the formula here sebab kita dah tahu nilai uh, omega sigma sorry sigma eh, omega or sigma I don't know sigma dia dah ada value reduce matrix pun kita dah tahu ni constant pun kita dah tahu so just lump in all value here then we can get the os calculated oscillator strength so in this case you can see this is my F calculated so saya cari B dulu yang mana saya regard uh, X as sigma and A as the reduce matrix element and then lepas tu saya nak darab dengan constant Jadi tu ni saya darab dengan constant. Mana? Okay ni darab dengan constant total constant. Okay constant virgin SC ni virgin SC lah for this one. Kita, eh sorry this one kita virgin SC. Hmm. Okay. So lepas tu boleh cari fx p eksperimen minus calculated. Okay and we can find the RMS using the formula also in this paper ah, ni. this one use RMS to find the uh, calculated uh, sorry uh, RMS and we found low RMS actually very low uh, so it is a good step uh, for this one because we find it by low RMS okay so uh, this is sharing for me okay so kalau macam tu calculator tu dia jadi 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 multiply by sigma punya ni kita akan dapat value b so b ni times by constant so we can get the f calculate very easy okay so harap bermanfaat kepada semua assalamualaikum